Now let's talk about the rehearsal strategy of learning the percussion parts. The percussionists learn the music in a different way than the wind players. They're typically not going to sight read their way through a chart. The parts are just simply too complex and from voice to voice they're very intricate. The best way to go about it is to take a small segment of the music, sometimes as small as one measure or two measures. But you take a few measures at a time and you rehearse that. You may stop and make some comments, but then you allow the players to play it over and over. Lots of repetitions are a good thing. Some people might think that this is a bit mundane or overdoing it a bit, but the amount of muscle memory that's required to be able to execute a part, those things are only truly learned through muscle memory and repetition. So it's important to take the time to learn it bit by bit, which also allows the players to listen around them and know how their part interacts with the other voices, and it gives them confidence in truly knowing how that part works. Another important element to this rehearsal strategy is giving sections time to work on individual considerations. For example, the bass drum line, their part is a composite of many parts. So it's important for individuals to know how their little piece of the puzzle fits into the overall package. They need time to get together, learn the composite part, maybe even have them sing through that so they understand how it works and then they can more easily flow and play their part in the composite. Tenor drummers, the same thing. They have to learn their voiced parts around the instrument. It's important that they learn the rhythm on one surface first, understand how the accents and the taps work together, and then they move the part around the instrument. To do this type of stuff in an ensemble setting, will start to become boring for some of the other players who stand around and wait while these details are covered. If you at all have time, break up into sectionals, allow them time to work on the complexities of their parts, then bring it back together and put the ensemble together. Another concept that is very popular in learning marching percussion parts is having the section leaders or the center players demonstrate the part or begin by having fewer players play and then adding in other players. With the larger lines that I have at my university or in the drum corps that I teach, we use this technique very frequently. We'll have the center players play and then slowly add on, slowly add on, slowly add on. This allows the players to absorb what it is that they're trying to achieve and it gives them a, a reasonable pace to put the music together. One other thing to consider is what tempo do you start learning the music at? In my opinion, the sooner you can get the players to play the music at tempo, the better. Number one, you really want to be able to find out if they're going to be able to achieve that part. Sometimes it requires a rewrite. Number two, it gives them a good sense of what they have to work on. It's okay to work on tempos at a slower pace, maybe breaking something down so that the players can understand the sticking pattern or understand how the parts interact, but then getting it back into the performance tempo, that is your main goal, and that's probably the way you should focus most of your rehearsals. When you're rehearsing music, you need to allow plenty of time to actually work the music properly. Dynamics are not optional. And what happens in most situations where you're trying to quickly get through some music, most of the detailing of dynamics and the control of the heights is put to the side. Players need to learn that part with the proper dynamics. That way, they'll know how to control the muscles. The muscle memory will take over. If you learn the part improperly, then they're going to have to unlearn those dynamics that have been imprinted because now they're using that muscle memory. Dynamics are important and it should be noted at the very beginning to use the proper dynamics and heights.